Hey everyone, this is Dr. Palacios and I am here to make an answer another question regarding migraine headaches. Why do I get dilated pupils when I have a migraine? Indeed, it's an important question, but we do have to explore it in pieces. So before I get into what dilated pupils are, we need to know what are our pupils, first of all. And this refers to our eyes. So our eyes have this little black in the center, and that's what the pupil is. And they are, they can either expand or dilate or constrict or shrink by the muscles, little, little tiny muscles, what we call sphincters, by the iris. So the iris are these little cells that can also have little muscles that allow us our eyes to expand or constrict, to get big or get small. So these are normal responses. If you've noticed, you have probably seen pupils getting constricted or di uh, dilated or constricted. And, but there are also abnormal responses or factors external to us that can cause this nature. So for example, three things that can cause our pupils to dilate based on normal responses are light changes. So you go from a dark room to a light room or a light room to a dark room. The pupils will shrink and uh, shrink and expand. Another one is stress or adrenaline, a high moment of stress. Adrenaline can also activate the the sympathetic system, which we'll get into, and that's going to cause our pupils to dilate and stay focused on our activity. And then the other response is sexual arousal, and that's caused by serotonin, the feel-good hormone, or one of the feel-good hormones. Those are normal responses, and there's nothing wrong with it. But now there are situations that can lead to dilated pupils and we need to have a little more exploration in it. So some of the external factors that can cause dilated pupils, and these are medications like antidepressants, antihistamines, so like anti-allergies and anti-nausea medications. Other things that can cause dilated pupils are recreational drugs like psilocybin, which is the active component of magic mushrooms, um, ecstasy, cocaine, MDMA, well, which is ecstasy, um, and LSD. Also, and this is a very serious situation that it could be from a head injury or a brain injury that may not be visible to our awareness or the naked eye, which is very important. And then migraines. Migraines can cause dilated eyes, but that's not always the case. With migraines, the dilated pupils happen from a sympathetic response to the attack, to the pain. Because when you have a, a migraine attack, the pain starts setting in and your body gets in the stressful response. One, to help decrease the pain, and two, to find something so you can lower the pain. So what tends to happen is as a sympathetic system response or an adrenaline surge can go higher than normal and it can cause your eyes to dilate. But that's not always the case because not all migraine sufferers have that. And this is where there is an imbalance. We're going a little bit deeper now there is an imbalance between the, the involuntary nervous system, the involuntary nervous system, our, our sympathetic nervous system, which is our fight or flight response, kind of like our stress response. And then our parasympathetic, which is the opposite, para means opposite of the fight or flight, which is rest and digest. So our bodies go through this shifts, dynamics of, resting and work to say the least and when we 
have a problem with one or the other, one tends to be on a imbalance. And because nowadays we are so overworked, our stress response tends to be on the higher end. So when your sympathetic response stays high and it doesn't know how to go back from a rest and digest moment, what's gonna happen is your pupils can get dilated from a migraine attack due to the hyper arousal or an even too much overactivity of the sympathetic system which means that your parasympathetic is going to have a hard time finding that balance. So what could be the solution of this? Uh, it is a simple answer, obviously, but you need to take charge of that situation as soon as possible. But I do want to say one thing. If you have had dilated pupils before on a migraine attack, then it's probably a normal phenomena that happens to you, a normal reaction. But if you have a migraine attack and then you get a dilated, either one or two dilated pupils, and it's never happened before, you do want to tell your doctor. You don't want to keep quiet about these kinds of symptoms because like I said, a dilated pupils could be a sign of head injury or brain injury, which sometimes we don't even know it happens. So that's why it's very important to keep your doctor um, informed about what's going on. Now, going into the treating the causes. In our naturopathic tenants, we have treat the cause, which means that we have to address the dilated pupils, not by treating the pupils themselves or the eye themselves or the migraines, but we have to try to achieve the body into a state of balance again between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic and believe it or not it is a simple step to go back and just take charge of our daily activities so they don't overwhelm us to the point that we don't know how to respond and stay stressed all the time so it is important to recover our sleep to recover our time to eat and chew our food and recover time to spend with our loved ones, to have self-reflection time. No matter how much you work, you need that self-care for yourself all the time. And that's what I'm here to help you do if you do want to work together to help treat the causes of your migraines. So I hope this video was helpful. If you'd like to work together, please click on the link below. If you want to see the other videos, please click on the tabs next to it. And We'll see you until next time.